Tell me you're in the UK without telling me you're in the UK. In a moment, my friends, I'm going to try and ride that unicycle. And then... You don't look impressed. Do you want to try this? No? Okay. Glitter bomb. What's your name? Ellen. I'm from Kentucky. Okay, we're being taken to a secret entrance. <laughs> so I'm gonna sit here and watch a show. <laughs> See you on the other side. That show was super cool. This artist went to art school did a bunch of painting, realized her paintings weren't selling so much, went into tech, continued to paint. And so it's a lot of like, I don't know, embracing yourself and that sort of stuff. And now we're gonna go into the crowds. Now this is about as fringe as the gifts. Check this out. St. Andrew's Square, Scott Monument, Queen Street, York Place. I'm trying to figure out where I'm going with my phone and I keep getting distracted with all of these cool Thingies. And then I have this option of going in a tunnel. Of course I'm going in here. Now we are going into my least favorite place in the world, a crowd. Oh, look at all the people. Wave at Mickey. Oh, that's not creepy at all. Check out these little tiny cars. So there is, there's an event going here because there's all of these people standing in a circle. So that looks cool. But what I'd rather see are these circus people. Okay, we're gonna walk around and then come back here because I wanna watch them spin around. Now let's go up the Royal Mile and see what's up there. Oh, by the way, I'm just taking you guys walking a lot today because it's beautiful weather. And I've only seen Edinburgh like this a couple of days in my life. So enjoy this beautiful green contrast. Approaching the Royal Mile. Check out all of these really cool stairs. Jump cut to the top. Just kidding, I heard a banjo. This is quite a lot of a crowd. So in front of us is a stadium, and now the stadium is usually not there, and I kind of want to understand what's in there. So see? Usually at the end of the Royal Mile, we can see the Edinburgh Castle. Okay, we've made it to the castle. Now go click on that video if you want to see what's inside there. Let's finish exploring Fringe, which is one of my most favorite castles. Oh, we're standing in line for a bird. Bird. Tell me there's tourists in Edinburgh. Tell me there's tourists in Edinburgh. Walking on the wrong side of the road. Why would you ever drive here? Now that takes epic patience. Perhaps did. Perhaps. Okay, this is very peculiar. Look at all these stadiums that have just risen up here. I wonder what this is for. We got stadium, <coughs> castle time, more stadium, and red stadium. Possibly should have read up what was happening here with all these stadiums. 
Maybe a concert? <laughs> I'm so confused. <laughs> so check this out. I found a table sitting in front of the nice orange banner. Drinking a frothy beverage. Now was this beer worth eight pounds? Probably. I'm gonna listen to some bagpipe music and then go plan my next my next destinations because I would like to see another magician. Go, go, go. Go, speedy racer, go. Okay, let's go walk down and see what's on this end. I heard there was more street performers on this end. Well, I didn't hear. I overheard. There's more street performers. All around Fringe, you see people trying to hand out flyers and stuff to get you to go see their show. We also have Darth Vader and the Stormtrooper, just in case you forgot about Star Wars. I hear a thing. Is it a singer? I think so. a whole show of his. That would be awesome. Okay. You can tell where there's just been a car because there's like this emptiness in the road. So basically the only cars brave enough to drive here are tour buses, taxis, and lost tourist drivers. The amount of people in this area is insane. Like, I'm used to these streets being super empty. And just take a look at this. How am I gonna get through that? Like, I hope there's some sort of activity. Okay, so this guy I see on the internet all the time. This is pretty cool. <laughs> Bring the balls back again. Oh, yeah, you're not impressed with that, are you? But you guys were impressed with the orange, so I'll do it again. If there's an orange in there, there's an orange in there. You were all too busy staring at the hat. Nobody was watching the cups, because there's an orange in there. There's even an applause queue. Sixth orange all the way over there. But I know what you guys really want to see. I know what you want to see. Adam, how many balls are under that hat? Three. This one's got to be worth at least the tenner. <laughs> Now, ladies and gentlemen, wait, wait. Nobody move. I can hit you with a melody. <laughs> Guys, thank you all so much for taking time out of your days to stop and have fun with me. I hope you all have a great day and a great life. And please come forward, put money in the hat, use the card reader or the QR there, and I'll have a great life too. Thanks a lot, guys. I appreciate each and every one of you. Well, that's cool. No wonder it was so packed. He's kind of famous online. Now, in here, there's also other random art going on. I'm trying to explain it, and I don't know the words. So we have some people in very pretty outfits making art in this bucket that we see down here. So there's all sorts of paint, and then they're moving it to different directions. And then they put it on these bags. Ah, that's pretty cool, isn't it? Oh, and now we have a street artist doing his work. Street artist doing God's work. some really sick people here, I guess. Because there's people who want to do free healing and spiritual reading. Well, I don't think I'm sick. Ooh, I think we found another performer. Okay, I see a crowd. Let's go to the crowd. This is like the only time in my life where I will go to, into a crowd. If there's a magic. Okay, not, not that early, not that early, that's uh, too early, that's uh, got a bit of a case of uh, 
premature ejaculation. Okay. Let's now go see another another thingy. This guy is just getting started, so we can probably come back if I want to see him. These spiritual free readings are kind of creepy. You know what? I think if I was going to be a pickpocket person, I would totally hold a sign that said free spiritual reading, free healing. I will heal you of your wallet. I will heal you of your backpack. There's like... All of these crowds gathered around them now too. Do they really think they're sick? That's, oh, we have an artist. Let's check this out. Well, that's cool. Guys, I found magic. Turn them back, right? So we'll do just that so we can play some poker again and have a lot of fun. There it is, there it is. Good job, good job. I wish these guys had like a banner of who their names were so I could go suck them on the internet and watch their magic all the time. Okay, note to self, if I ever become a busker, I'm just gonna blast my channel and have like a big banner of, this is who I am. Actually, maybe I should do that with this channel. <laughs> Never let me market myself. I don't actually remember these phone booths being here outside of Fringe. But they're pretty cool. Like, I really like how they have everything decorated in these movie posters. It kind of reminds me of an old, like, 1990s New York City. Very cool. Side quest. Right. Side quest. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Side quest. Should we go, you guys? <laughs> we have the sign. This place is crazy. <laughs> okay, there's something here. That is my box, that's my card machine. I'm going to tell you guys, someone who's doing it right. His name is by him, so you can Google him up. All about. So, yeah, I really hope you've had X2C. Right here, right now, right here, right now, right here, right now. Eat, sleep, eat, not repeat. We found a party car. Oh, he turned his party music off when I was gonna record him. Come on, party, party in the club. <laughs> party in Edinburgh. <laughs> it's a great city. Okay, so the plan was to get food and have a beer, and I'd say I nailed that 50%. To be fair, the food was already eaten. So we're just gonna have the beer. Oh, we can go watch fire with the beer if I drink it down a little bit. Okay, come with me in the beer garden as we're gonna go watch fire from the backside. <laughs> So, fire guy. This guy's sense of humor is hilarious. You can't hear him really well because it's uh, drowning out by the music, but before when he was setting up, it was pretty awesome. I'm gonna go watch him. Okay, now we're gonna go explore different parts and try to find a new magician. Now remember, you don't fight, okay? You remember, you have 
Only one. I tap two. Okay, my friend. One, two, three. Hop. Perfect. Perfect. So everything that everyone tells you, the fringe is insane, it's bonkers. Believe them. But don't let that deter you from coming here because it's freaking awesome. Okay, check it out. Finally, I see an ad for one of the shows I'm going to. I hear someone, and that means there must be an activity ahead. Oh, it's a dude climbing stairs. No, 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 just to show you guys, this is how my head is here. This is a bucket again. Oh, nice setup. People can sit on stairs. Oh, yeah. And I know Tom. This <laughs> a great performer. Trans on fire. Unicorn. Yellow usually means fringe. And there's all sorts of fringe posters. I wonder where I'm walking into. Where am I? Aseos. Hola. Okay, now the thing that I like about all these posters is that you have to stand out amongst everyone else. So if this isn't marketing 101, I don't know what is. I'm really glad of two things. One, I found a grocery store, so I have a sandwich. And two, I think my venue is max 10 minutes away. This is very cool. I agree. Where am I? If I just did the roundy there, maybe I can come up here. I don't actually know. Oh, look at all of this. All of these things you can see at Fringe. Okay, we've come into this, I don't know. Oh, I was just there. I've just walked in a circle. I'm just trying to get there, and I walked all, and I came back there again. Okay, let's go try to find a street magician. I'm liking all of these scenes. Like, where are these circus people? Oh, signs, signs. Circus. Oh, this would be fun to see. Yay, I finally found another person. What is he doing? There's this very cool school bus that I would like to show you guys. Is she? Okay, it's a pretty cool van. Check it out. Sparkle. Party in the club. Come give me a hug. I think I could just go with them. No one knows. I can just be with the rest of the people. I'm with them. <laughs> what is this? I found the Sims. Yeah, how are you? 
Yeah. So no, we're going to try to find my theater. Oh. I wouldn't necessarily say this place is fun to walk in. Hey, we're moving. Time to go into my last show. Will I actually be able to see? Okay, so that's Fringe Festival. I think you guys should come. There's still a couple of weeks left. Totally show up. I'm gonna drop a link to all of the people that we saw today in the description. If you don't come, at least go check their social media. Like, that's super free and easy. So yeah, like, subscribe. See you next time. Ciao.